Hello everybody and welcome to my 2023 office tour including my trucking rig setup which I will show you very soon. If you're watching this on the weekend, hopefully you're having a good one. And if you are watching this during the week, Hopefully your week is going well. Walking into the room, you can see here's the trucking setup. We'll get into everything soon enough. Here's the main setup. I spend most of my hours right here in this chair that was uh, given to me by Herman Miller. I absolutely love this thing. It's not sponsored or anything. Uh, I did a sponsored stream for that one, but uh, yeah, I got away from the whole gaming chair thing. It's just way better for your back and uh, it does the trick. That is for certain. Starting to the right side of the room here, I've got a couple closets here that's just junk and, you know, other wheels and, and stuff like that. Uh, I have a Elgato key light there. I don't use that one very much, so it's just sitting there for right now. I have this awesome old style Coca-Cola little mini fridge for all my Coke, because I do love me some Coca-Cola. And then it's just, you know, internet stuff here. You got some candy, some garbage there, uh, and then two of my guitars. This is my main baby. It's the the Mexican Fender Strat that I have set up like a, a David Gilmore guitar, and then my Yamaha bass. I've been playing a lot more bass lately, actually. Uh, and then I have an MPI wheel here. This is on a older uh, Thrustmaster uh, bass on that, but uh, it was just used there for when I did that. Um, I did the Tony Stewart uh, game. That's the one I used for that. Uh, under there, you can see that is my Elgato little foot pedals. I have them set over to the side right now, but usually they're down there when I'm doing uh, GTA 5 uh, RP. I just press it down to do that. Uh, I have three 32 inch monitors here. Um, you can see here's my Twitch channel. If you haven't already checked it out on Twitch, right there, Jay Fabiano, come watch Monday through Friday in the evening time. Uh, yeah, 32 inch monitor set up here. And this is Cocos Reaper. It's the main uh, DAW that I use to record all my audio with. And that is done through the GoXLR that you see right there. Uh, unfortunately, GoXLRs are going bye-bye because they're not gonna be supported in later versions of Windows, sadly. And yes, I'm still on Windows 10. I haven't jumped to 11 yet because I'm an idiot. Got the old GTA 5 map there up on the wall. And then uh, the, the Grand Theft Auto 5 poster as well. Those are up there. I use this wonderful Sony, forget the name of it, A7 or whatever it's called now, I can't remember. Uh, but that's the main one I use with a 1.4 uh, f-stop on uh, the Sigma lens there I have. That's the one I use mainly for live streams and shooting the uh, reaction videos and stuff. There's the uh, plaque for a million subscribers. And then I have two more plaques. I have the 100,000 that I got back in the day. And then I've got my second channel, which you should subscribe to, Fabiana Live, passing 100,000 subscribers. So you can see the difference between the two plaques. They've changed a little bit. And then Susan's a little letter that they send you saying congratulations and all that. Now the main PC is down under here. Uh, I'm sure you're gonna ask me about this guy. That's just uh, a clock that I just don't even really use anymore. I used to use it to time out videos or streams. And right now I just don't have, I don't really use it, honestly. So that's why it's unplugged. But here's the main PC down here. I've got a fractal. Uh, and I gotta say with this one, I love the case, but I really don't like the uh, cooling being mounted on the bottom there. That's not my favorite. But you can see there, I got the uh, 3090 in there doing its job, doing what it's supposed to do. It gets really hot in here, I will be honest. Uh, if you want to know the specs of the PC, I'll try to do my best to include those in the uh, description below. There's a UPS right there. No, not United Parcel Service, but it uh, is there as a backup in case we lose power. And in Missouri, you know, the grid down here is not the greatest. Uh, so that is the reason why I have a backup system and it has actually clicked on once or twice today as we have storms moving through. I've got my RE20 here. This is the microphone I use. I've been using this thing since 2016. It's an absolute gem. Uh, I wouldn't use any other microphone other than the RE320 you saw me using in the uh, flight sim room and stuff. Outside of that, no. Got the Reverb G2 for doing any of my VR videos. And then I have a headset that I use for that, which is the BHPS1, I believe, by Audio-Technica. I believe so. Uh, but moving on, the left side. You've all been waiting for this. This is the trucking rig. And I do want to say a big thanks to 
Next Level Racing for uh, sponsoring this video. And Next Level Racing right here, that sent me this GT Elite that I'm showcasing right now. Now this thing was not easy to build. <laughs> it, was the, it was the worst. It took a very long time to build this. It's all floating, it moves. Um, off of T-nuts, basically. Same thing for the monitor stand. As you can see, it's like those extrusions and you have T-nuts in those extrusions. That is a 48 inch monitor by Aorus. Uh, absolutely love that thing. That's what I use for uh, trucking. You see right here, we got the T818, the T818 uh, direct drive wheel from Thrustmaster there. It is a absolute beast, love that thing. Um, I haven't tried any sim racing with it yet, but with driving the big rig, uh, I have it set to 1080 on the actual degrees of rotation, and it does a really, really good job. Uh, moving on from there, you can see everything's kind of plugged in down here. This is the uh, separate PC here. This is the American Truck Sim Rig, which is another fractal case, and I really like this case a lot better since it doesn't have that bottom mounting uh, for all of that, but it's no slouch. It's got some uh, leftover parts that I use from other PC builds. Um, and then I've got a L my old LG gaming monitor there as a secondary monitor just for chat and stuff like that. And you know, when I'm recording, I wanna make sure I have everything. And yes, it is a, just a destroyed piece of uh, furniture that's just sitting on top <laughs> of that because I just don't, I don't care that much about it. It gets the job done. It's a perfect height for me. Uh, that's what I like. And then it's just a rat's nest down here which is the main power source here. Uh, and then I'm using a GoXLR Mini right there for this one and the uh, flight sim room as well. And then I just got this old ring light and it's got a camera on it. That's the one I use to shoot the, uh, the wheel cam. Uh, usually I shut this light off here and I just use that one when I'm recording. That way it gives it kind of a better glow with the blue backlight. Gotta say a big thanks to ATSAccessories.com for partnering with me because this is the Patriot XL and it is awesome. I did get some actual trucking uh, pieces here. So these are the uh, extensions for the switches, just like it would be in a real truck. Um, these came from a shop that does these for like Peterbilt. So engine brake, you can see right there, light comes on for that guy. That's our uh, accessory light for the bright lights being on and off. Um, really cool, I love it. The cruise light comes on, you got cruise control. Got the blue light there. Love this thing. And yes, the CB does work. You can run uh, the little wire here into the PC and then you can use that if you want. But I just use it for effect as a push to talk button when I'm doing convoys. And then uh, this thing is beautiful. This is the uh, custom ball that was made by ATSAccessories.com. They make uh, custom shifters and I'll have everything linked, of course, in the description below if you want to check it out. Love this thing, it's on a 10 inch uh, extension uh, by ATSAccessories.com and then into the Thrustmaster TH8A uh, shifter. And I broke all the teeth on this little uh, ATS Accessories thing I have here. <laughs> so that's the reason why that's broken there. Uh, I got the TLCM pedals there. Uh, they're the metal ones and uh, it's all pressure sensitive as far as the brake goes, which I really, really love. And then we have this, uh, I think it's the ERS-1 seat. Yes, it is ERS-1. Man, remembering all these acronyms is insane. Um, and it's on top of a motion platform V3. So this is an actual motion platform and I'll show you. I'll turn it off and I'll let it power down for a second and then turn it on and it comes to life. There you go. So it moves me around everything during uh, driving the big rigs. I love it. I wouldn't uh, wouldn't have it any other way. That's for certain. Um, however, this was not compatible with this chair. So I had to take these two rods that I had left over, these extrusions, and then I just kind of kind of just bolted them right on top of there, and it worked. You know, and uh, I've had no issues with it ever since then. It is as sturdy as she gets. Uh, and then you gotta have good. Uh, Good back support, lower back support when you're driving, so I got a little cushion there for that. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, I get questions all the time about how I look around freely, left and right, when I'm driving my big rig. Track IR right there, baby. The track IR. Uh, that thing is from 2012. That's how old that is. And uh, it used to have like a track hat or a little track clip, but now I have the Clip Pro, which these things are honestly kind of junk. They fall apart really easily. 
But that is how you look around freely. You see here, I've got it in my hand, and if I go right, left, it uses that little camera up there, and that's how I'm able to look around freely, which is really cool. If you're wondering, that is how you do it. Move that back down here. Keyboard, just cheap Corsair keyboard and mouse. I don't really, you know, have a reason to have something really, really good over here. And then moving over to the left, we've got my little trinkets. My trinket spot. Got a Kurt Busch uh, helmet there. Dave got me that one a long time ago. I was watching Breaking Bad. So that's uh, Walter Wright. White? <laughs> right. Walter White. And a lot of people always gave me crap for, you know, after shaving my head. So that's what I got there. I'm a huge Overwatch fan, so you see a lot of Overwatch stuff here as well. Uh, Bus Simulator sent me that. Uh, that's just a police car that I found randomly. And then the Pachi Mari there and uh, Lucio's falling down, so that's cool. Uh, and then NASCAR things I have here. Got a lug nut. That was from uh, when I went to Chicagoland Speedway and got that one. That was during the NASCAR Heat 3 um, promo. That's what that was from. Uh, race win version of the uh, Michael Jordan paint scheme for Kurt Busch in the 45. Uh, it was the race win version i believe that was in kansas um and i got that one off of what if racing off of youtube uh, he hit me up was like hey i have this do you want to buy it i was like yes i do so i got that one i got kurt bush's uh race win car from uh god what was that atlanta i can't remember which one that one was so i've got the old gen 6 all the way to the current gen car triples the barracuda baby that's from i think you should leave bob odenkirk if you know you know uh, and then down here we have all of my Overwatch characters all lined up. The only one I don't have is D.Va. So I need to get D.Va. I already got a spot for her right there. And I'll eventually get there. Down here is the travel stuff from going to, uh, going to Key West. Ooh, hello. Uh, and then going to Bora Bora and some other places we went on cruises uh, over the time. This is the uh, Controller Freaks controller you saw a while back, the custom one they made me. Uh, I don't even play with it because I love it, it's beautiful. I don't want anything to happen to it. Uh, and then, this is a childhood toy I had to have again, um, which is from Independence Day. So, if you're familiar with that film, that is the alien ship. And the guy is actually in there, I'm not gonna open it up. It makes sounds and stuff like that. Uh, and then, got my Diva Light, got the uh, Overwatch health pack there if you couldn't tell i'm a huge overwatch fan um and then i've got the brad kozlowski and i've got the uh martin truex jr from his uh championship uh cars there uh i got that one after i met brad really cool guy uh and then r2d2 had to have one of these i love r2d2 obviously sparkle r3 a3 rim right here uh used to play a lot of farming sim 22 and then uh the formal pickle actually uh, sent me this. Very, very kind of him to do that. It's the collector's edition of Farming Simulator 22. It has that little uh, the light. Um, so if I get, to ra get around to playing this again, I'll uh, have to throw that light on there so we can have a little, a little light show while we're playing. So that's just one of my trinket little uh, spots there. And then this is back in uh, at Gateway when I got to do 50 laps in that car. Go over this way. Whoop. There we are. Yeah, 50 laps in that bad boy. That was a fun time, look at that. I even had hair on my head right there. Right there, all that hair. Looked like a baby in that picture. <laughs> but that was a, an incredible, incredible experience. And then we just got a trash can, so, you know, no big deal there. Um, yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything for the most part. I'm probably leaving some things out. Uh, turn signal, V3. Still need to figure out, I need to use Joy to Key to map that thing so I can actually use it as a blinker system here. So you have your you know, left, right, and then you have your little dial there to do bright lights and whatnot. Um, and that's the atsaccessories.com as well. This is the RE320, like I use in my uh, flight sim setup. I use for this one here, and this is a blue, uh, blue is the name of the company that makes this arm. Um, I can't think of anything else really. Uh, just a little insight to what it all looks like in here whenever you walk in and the magic is made right there. And everything's networked. That's why you see terrible, uh, all these cables and stuff running over here to the router. Um, and I have charter internet. If you have any choice, 
at all, do not choose Charter. <laughs> just don't do it, man. Um, so I have all those plugged in. So the flight sim room is just on the other side of this wall and that's plugged into there. And then uh, Nick's office as well, that goes in there and uh, that's what we got going. So there you have it, folks. That is a look at my setup that I have here in my office. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments below and I will do my best to answer those. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.